my wife passed away three months ago. I met her in Brunei, and she's, she was American. I grew up in India, so I'm 93 years old. I went to Brunei at the end of 1954. First as a teacher, later I transferred into the treasury and worked for the Brunei government. So though it is sad to see my wife departed, but I know, according to my beliefs in the Baha'i faith, that her spirit continues to exist. She was a very devoted person. She was a very good mother. And her profession was a teacher, but she, she in the communities, wherever she was, she was always with children and liked them and helped them in every way that they could. Gradually, of course, she lost this capacity. In my belief now is that the spirit doesn't carry these frailties with them. They leave the physical incapacity behind and the spirit goes, continues to live. And if she has led a good life, she will continue to have a good life. And it is very encouraging for me to know that these disabilities are left behind and the spirit goes forward in another world in a very wonderful and enjoyable world. It is a renewal in another form. So it's nothing that we should fear at all. So the whole thing is because we don't know exactly what it's going to be. We have this uncertainty, we have this fear. And Abdul Baha explains, the bird has nothing to fear if the cage is broken, because it enables it to fly. Abdul Baha says, man is like that. The body is a cage that keeps him honor. There is a time that that is an essential part of the being. But once that time is over, the body is cast aside and the spirit moves on like a bird flying away. There is nothing, nothing to fear. In fact, Mahala says, you look forward to it. It is a goal, it is a goal, it is a journey, and when you go on that journey and you come to your final destination, this is what happens, that you, you move on from one existence to another. The coming to this world is for preparation of the next. The spirit can pray for the people that live, still live here. And people that live here can pray for the progress of their relatives, friends, whoever they want to. So there is a reciprocal help from each side. So every night, every night I pray for my parents, for my friends, for my relations. And I'm sure that they pray for me also.